well, it's been a while since I uh, posted a little video, so uh, getting ready for Father's Day weekend, which I'm really excited because it's been a while since I've been able to get in the mountains when most of the snow should be gone. Should be pretty muddy. Gonna try to hook up with a few people that I haven't wheeled with before possibly, if not just me and Mason's going it solo. Uh, so we're rolling the TJ today and uh, we've got some minimal camping gear. So we're kind of up in the air. We, uh, we might come home tonight and if not, we get up in the mountains and find a cool camp place. We've got a few sleeping bags and a couple small backpacking tents and coffee and a few bagels. So we just might, uh, might crash somewhere up in the mountains. So we'll see. So uh, we're looking for that, uh, for that killer camping place, so to speak. So the Jeep's all ready. It's gonna be the first time with the anti-rock on it out on the trails. So uh, super excited to drive this, see how it handles with the anti-rock. So we'll get a little more footage later on in the day. And we'll get up to Natchez, get unloaded, and uh, we'll catch you later. Peace out. Well, after a long day of wheeling, we found a place to set up camp, met some totally cool uh, people from a Jeep club and town that we got to wheel with today. Uh, big thanks to the uh, Midnight Mudders for letting us tag along. That was pretty cool. So anyway, we just, we're pretty minimal tonight. We're using actually uh, our survival bag stuff, you know, pretty minimal. We did bring a couple backpacking tents because we knew we were probably going to camp. Uh, so I'm not using the TP tent, but uh, anyway, kind of a nice place. Been here before, you know, there's a lake just over here called uh, Milk Lake, but there's just tons of mosquitoes. Pretty bad here too, but there's somebody camping over there. So we came over this way. So we just brought a few backpacking tents. First time for the Hornet and somebody, somebody over here is incredibly happy. Mason, would that be you incredibly happy over here? And somebody got to drive the Jeep today? Oh yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah, I get, I get nervous when I go five miles an hour over a whoopie doos and you go sideways and it's completely fine. I don't know how you do it. But. Just uh, just get used to that thing moving around and being weird. Yeah, it does yeah. move a lot. It moves around a lot, yeah. So anyway, this is kind of a cool camp we got here. And uh, over here in the over here in the distance, there's going to be a sunset over there in a minute, over the mountains. So we're going to hike over there and check out that action. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, run some more later. Out. Sun's up. I think my son's over there still snoring in the tent. But anyway, got uh, going pretty simple this weekend. Got camp kitchen set up over here. Camp kitchen is a backpacking stove and coffee and a bagel. <laughs> Nothing fancy. So really, it's like, you know, getting out four wheeling, camping, overlanding, whatever you want to call your adventure. You know, sometimes you can go out and have a pretty good time and you just don't need a ton of stuff. I mean, we've got another rig that we use set up for overlanding. It's an LJ. It's not real big, but still we take a bigger tent and a heater and, you know, a lot of stuff to be more comfortable. But really on this trip, it's like I have, uh, you know, a stove. I have that bag. You know, and then we just brought, you know, backpacking tents, you know, basic backpacking tents, you know, pretty lightweight, get into some awesome places, just beautiful up here. Lots of mosquitoes, definitely, definitely using, using the off. So anyway, it's just good to be outside. Thought I'd share this one with you. Uh, coffee's going to be done here pretty soon, I hope. The uh, fateful little propane stove. Well... I'm gonna get some coffee and then uh, maybe have a little fire. Uh, fortunately, it's not too crazy dry right here. Pretty soon we're gonna have fire restrictions. So yeah, this morning we'll probably have a little fire, roast a bagel, uh, be a small fire so we can make sure it's put out. That's one thing that everybody needs to make sure when you get out in the mountains uh, and you're ready to leave camp, you gotta make sure your fire's out. So uh, we usually just do a fire with smaller branches and. Things like that. Things are going to burn a little faster so we don't leave smoldering logs. So, uh, yeah, it's nice, nice to get out here. So, anyway, we'll uh, see you down the trail a little bit. <laughs> 